Yet behind Thanksgiving, it is the second biggest day of eating in the year. Super Bowl Sunday is the most watched single day sporting event in the world. More than 160 million viewers will tune in. Now that's more than France, Morocco, and the whole of the United Kingdom population all in one. It is the big one. It is the championship game of the NFL. And it's the one that's gonna give you fame, fortune, and possibly quite a bling ring. Now, before the action gets underway, it's time for the coin toss. Now that's 50-50 odds. So you'd expect that half the time the NFC team will win the toss and half the time the AFC team will win the toss. But from 1998 right through to 2011, the NFC team won the toss every time. That's 14 times in a row. The odds of that happening are 16,000 to one. And if you crunch the numbers, which Dr. James Grime kindly did, you can actually work out on average how long it will take until you get 14 coin tosses won by the same team. And it's 32,766 years. Right, here's a good bit of lingo to chuck at your mates. The, the ball that the guys are kicking around is actually called a prolate spheroid. That's the shape. It's designed so that it spins along its long axis because things that spin are a lot more stable than things that don't. Just try throwing a frisbee in the park without spinning it. It sucks. So it's spinning, it's got gyroscopic stability, and what you might see is it may veer off to the right or the left. That's because of something called the Magnus effect. As the ball spins, you get a higher pressure on one side than the other, and that causes it to curve off. But enough physics, it's time to talk about food. Because Americans will double their average daily snack food consumption on Super Bowl Sunday. Yet behind Thanksgiving, it is the second biggest day of eating in the year. On the day, Americans will consume over 11 million pounds of potato chips, over one billion chicken wings, and enough guacamole to cover the whole of a football field with avocados to a depth of 20 feet. Game fans will also see away more than 325 million gallons of beer. That's enough to easily fill 500 Olympic swimming pools. Now, two years ago, you had a mini Darth Vader throwing down some dark side on a VW. In 2010, you had someone Googling how to impress a French girl. And then last year you had Matthew Broderick taking a day off. Yes, of course, I'm talking about the half-time commercials. And in 2012, a 30-second ad cost three and a half million dollars. But it's worth it, because Wired.com actually found some data from WebAssign. It's a company where you can log on and it's where students go and do bits of their homework assignments. What they found was, yeah, okay, so Super Bowl Sunday had a lower hit rate, less traffic than normal. You'd expect that. But they also had a massive dip in the traffic at half time and just after the game, which they reckon is students ditching their digital work to tune in and see what the commercials were. So what about the result? Well, have you heard the one that says that the winner of the Super Bowl will dictate the stock market for the next year? Well, well, that fact goes along these lines. It says if the NFC team win, then the stock market's going to be rubbish. But if the AFC team win, then it's going to be all good. Yep, it was written as a joke by a sports writer called Leonard Coppett back in 1978. But the thing is, if you do actually track who wins and who loses against the rise and fall of the Dow Jones, that fact holds up 80% of the time, which is crazy. I mean, it's got to be correlation rather than causation, right? Or maybe it isn't. Maybe people are actually watching the Super Bowl. They know that fact and they go out and change their stocks and shares. Who knows? Anyway, that is all the time I've got. This has been the Psy Guide to the Super Bowl. Make sure you order in those chicken wings, pull out your prolate spheroids, grab a beer and enjoy the game. Are you enjoying Head Squeeze? Is your head suitably squozen? If so, why not subscribe? It's down here, look.